Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna stuff some cash envelopes. We are gonna go ahead and set up my weekly check-in since I do have a couple of things that I need to update. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna go ahead and open this because this is where my cash is at. I need to balance out whatever is in this wallet right here i did go to the bank and pull out my cash from my last payday however when i went out i went and stopped by a couple of stores and i used some cash already in here so what i need to do is actually set up my may weekly check-in and then deduct all these purchases so i can know exactly how much each category has to have because otherwise i'm a hot mess if you guys don't know this is how my weekly check-in is i just put down a calendar sticker kit down and then i use um my expense trackers to track track the expenses that i have so um like this pastel green is for groceries the blue is for personal spending like the tropical color is for gas and budgeted items and like this um darker coral color is for unbudgeted so i keep track of what all of these ha um transactions happen in the month with my cash envelopes or on my card and then i just mark when i have no spend days and my paydays so yeah i keep that in here just as like a card key evidence and so far we are on the 24th and i've had one two three four five six seven no spend days which is pretty nice but i can see there's a lot of blue so meaning probably a lot of my spending money has gone but that's fine but i'm gonna go ahead and set up my weekly check in here because like i said i've used some cash however now i'm not sure what belongs to what i think the only thing i know what belongs to what is my gas budget because i haven't pumped gas bay has been taking care of that for me so my gas budget hasn't been touched at all so let me go ahead and pull out my weekly check-in so i can set it down for you guys and then i'm going to use rainbow washi to fulfill this so there we go so if you're interested in any of the stickers that I use are from my shop, Erica Life Vlogs. Everything's linked down below. The planner, however, is not available to shop for, but we do have a release date now. Erin Condren just released that their planners are going to go back on sale for the 2021-2022 year on the 2nd of June, I believe. I think that's when they announced it. So I'm really excited. I'm going to buy like three. One for my personal planner, one for tester kits, and a third one just to have as a um, backup. I usually mark it for my shop. However, I've been doing Excel, so that's the only time I've actually not used my planner anymore for um, budgeting is for my shop. Just because I know at the end of the year I'm going to have to give that to my accountant. So Excel it is, honey. Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and lay this down and I'll be right back so you guys can see how the spread looks. Oh, those colors look wonderful. And I have four, the four categories that I um track groceries spending gas or budgeted and then uh unbudgeted expenses because i need to know when and why i'm doing um, unbudgeted expenses because usually i don't since i make zero based budgets and that's really hard to have a unexpected expense especially if i'm not um, on top of my budget so one two three four so i'm gonna lay this down and be right back okay I think that looks great. That's how the spread looks. Like I said, I just put groceries, gasoline, spending, and unbudgeted, which are the categories that I track here on my monthly calendar right over here. So the first week was on the first to the second, and nothing really happened there. So right here, I'm not going to add an addition of my cash envelopes because I didn't put cash envelopes. Or did I? Yeah, I did. On the fourth. Let's see how we figure this out. So let's do cash envelopes. I added 190 to my groceries. I ended at $30 for my gas, 125 for my spending, and of course I never budgeted out for um, on budget expenses. Then I didn't add money to my cash envelopes until the 18th, so that is like 
week this is one two three four to week four so i'm gonna go ahead and put if that's not how it works one two three this is week four so let's not put that there let's put it here i did another round of 190 30 dollars here 125 for spending and then again zero for um budgeted so this is wrong so i'm gonna go ahead and wipe this out let's just wipe it out real quick like it didn't happen so anywho what i'm gonna go ahead and do is add up all of my expenses that happened for these weeks because this will give me a remaining balance of what i need to add this money into these cash envelopes that i already have here because these are what's remaining from the first week so for groceries i have 20 30 31 32 33 34 dollars and i still haven't stuffed it for the second time so once i get all the expenses lined up then i will be able to put in extra money like i said gasoline i haven't pumped anything so this is the only one that's actually full of cash from the very beginning so this has its 30 dollars that is always its um budgeted amount and then spending oh spending is looking a little harsh i have 24 dollars left um from my previous cash envelope so that is everything that i actually have left so i need to track my expenses so then i can add whatever remaining cash i have since i did mix it all up because here i went to the farmer's market i went to grocery shopping i bought food i think so this has been tampered with which is unlike me however when i was out and about doing errands there was nothing gonna stop me <laughs> let's be honest nothing was gonna stop me from um buying stuff especially when i was out and about you know no one needs to make like a second trip if you're out there you're out there and you know sometimes videos don't come first but anywho, for the first week, I think I'm just going to add this one on to here. For groceries, which was in that teal, I don't think I have anything except for, yeah, this whole week I had nothing. So we, I had zero for groceries. Personal spending, I had 20, 24 Panda Express, 15.63 for McDonald's. And that's about it. So the first week I spent $35.63 on eating out. So I'm going to go ahead and put that here. $35.63. Zero for groceries and zero for gasoline. And I don't think I had on budget expenses. Nope. And this was for Bay's birthday. So that was like on its own miscellaneous category. So I'm not tracking that. But it was budgeted into my monthly account. Second week we have for groceries we have a couple we have ihop and we have target and that's about it so 147.39 is what i ended up spending the second week on groceries gasoline i didn't spend a thing and then personal spending it looks like i had a couple so i had makeup for 35.65 I had Target for $25.27. So in total, I spent $60.92 this past week for week two. So $60.92. And this week, I actually had a couple of unbudgeted expenses. So we had a $7.95 transaction fee. This was when I was loading up uh to send money to my uncle and the fee cost me 795 so i coughed that up and then i went to the nail shop and i got my nails and i got my eyebrows and everything done and that was 126 with tip so i ended up spending 133.95 that i was not accounting for this month so i'm um, that's the one on budget expense that I had and the only reason why I allowed that was because I actually ended up getting a stimulus check um this time around from the golden state and I was like well might as well that's gonna come out from that so that is how I use part of my stimulus check is to um permit the unbudgeted expenses otherwise I've never done it you guys and then this past week um I had so actually let me mark these that I already tracked I tracked you guys 
this past week looks a lot heavier. So Tuesday, Panera. Panera is my weakness, you guys. It used to be Starbucks, now it's Panera. 387. And then 480 for Duncan. Oh, I have Duncan near me again, so oh, that's gonna be an issue quickly. So I spent 3767 on my personal spending and nothing for gasoline because they pump gas for me and then on groceries which I totally skipped through I went to Sprouts in the farmers market and this is where that whole um, cash envelope got like blurry was because I got paid and then I pulled cash here and then I went to the grocery runs without doing a vi video so that's how all my money got like jumbled in but I was not about not to buy stuff. So 4846 was spent on sprouts. I made bruschetta. It was so delicious, you guys. Oh, so good. And then at the farmer's market, I spent $8. I bought a baguette and strawberries. So delicious and fresh. Um, but I went out looking for a Mexican bakery and all the streets were closed. So I ended up at a farmer's market. So I spent my money on that instead. So in total for groceries this past week, I ended up spending $56.46. And nothing for unbudgeted. No, nothing. I will say though, I did get my car insurance pulled out and my renter's insurance and I did extra debt snowball payments for these days so the last time I did an extra snowball was on the 10th which was like Mother's Day for us which was $610 and this past um, Friday and weekend um, when I got paid from my affiliate I pulled out $400 from there and threw $400 on my car and because I was being nitpicky because of the interest that added on I wanted to make my debt a solid number so i ended up throwing 7390 from my own personal spending money to make it a solid four grand on my debt so you can see that here um so so far i think i've thrown 1200 dollars at my car so i should have four thousand dollars flat because the interest already took charge I'm hoping, otherwise I'm going to be really mad <laughs> that I went through all of that for no reason. But yeah, that is how my week are looking like. We're on week four and then week five is only like two days. So I might add it on to week four, but it's fine. But now I get to figure out how much debt, debt, how much cash envelope money I have left over for each category. So this one is going to be 190 So these might stay the same here because nothing's really happening. For the first week except for my spending so 125 minus 35 63 should have had 89 dollars and 37 cents left over last week or the week prior to that i spent 147.39 out of the 190 so i was left with 42 dollars and 61 cents gasoline never touched it so yeah, then I spent, I uh, actually added 190 to the 4261 because of my cash envelope stuffing and I spent 56, 46 for groceries. So that means I should have 176 and 15 cents left over in there. I added $30 to gasoline, meaning I should have $60 in there and then Let's do 60, let's do 89, 37, minus 60, 92. Should have had $28.45 here. If I add that to the 125 and subtract 37, 67, I should have hundred and fifteen dollars and seventy eight cents in there yeah and then I should be in the negative one thirty three ninety five and same for this past week one thirty three ninety five because I haven't had any other on budget expenses so now that I have those numbers set up let's fill my cash envelopes because this is what has been messing with me so for groceries I'm supposed to have 176 so 20, 30, 31, 
34. I have 134. So I have this amount here. So let's do 20. Let's do 20. 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 5, and 6. Yeah, I think that's how we're going to make it work. I'm not going to worry about the, about the cents because the cents are going to be in the back pocket of my wallet. So they're all jumbled together, but this should be 176. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 76. Perfect. So 176 is going to go into the grocery category here. And now that category is balanced. Beautiful. Gasoline. I'm supposed to have 60 since I never spend it. So there's 30. And let's do 20. And 30. There you go. So now I should have 20, 40, 50, 55, 60. Perfect. $60 for gasoline. And now that is balanced and perfect and ready to go. Spending. Ugh. Spending, I have 20, 21, 22, 23. I have $23 and I'm supposed to have 115. That actually makes me happy. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 115, yes. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 115 dollars. Perfect. Now everything is balanced. I don't have to worry anymore about anything. Ooh, there we go. My weekly check-in matches along with my cash envelopes. And I'm good to go for the next two weeks or a week and a half or a week and a day. Yeah, you guys, I did it. So yeah, this is how I balance my weekly check-in. I have to track everything uh, off camera. Otherwise, it will not happen and everything will be a mess, especially since these numbers they get jumbled up from time to time but i'm so happy everything balanced out like i said i have 176 dollars left in groceries 60 dollars in gasoline 115 dollars to spend on whatever i want and i've been the negative of 133 dollars because i had some on budget expenses but that's being taken care of of my stimulus check that i got um for i think it was like 600 dollars from the golden state i guess california was like have some money y'all uh, we, we know we keep closing you and you guys are really restricted unlike other places but you know here's some stimulus <laughs> anywho that has been it i hope you guys enjoy it and i'll catch you in my next one bye guys